Hey guys, Mike here, Modern Man TV. Welcome back to my channel for a surprise video. Before we jump into it, I need to confess something real quick. I am a little bit of an Apple fanatic. Here is my mountain of Apple boxes. And today's video is going to be all about adding to this mountain because we are gonna be unboxing the all new iPhone 7. Yes, it's true, I love me some apples. So I waited up almost all night to pre-order these two bad boys, and today I'm going to give you an unboxing and a comparison over my current phone, which is the iPhone 6S. So for this phone release, we actually got a couple extra color options than usual. And I was not able to get the jet black, which I really wanted, so I got the black, and I'm actually glad I did. The next new feature that Apple gave us was finally we have more storage capacity. That's right, no more 16 gig phones. That didn't work for anybody. So they start out at 32 now, which I got from my wife. And then of course, since I need more storage, I got the 128. Let's get these guys unwrapped and take a look inside. All right, right when we pop open these boxes, we see that familiar yet welcoming message designed by Apple in California. Now, a proper unboxing would go through these pamphlets first, but these handsets, though. Focusing our attention back on the pamphlets that we just pulled out, let's look inside. Here we got some warranty instructions, some operating instructions, some stuff I can't read because it's in Chinese, and some Apple stickers. Now back to the handsets. And I have read multiple rumors online that said that these handsets were both heavier and then other rumors said they were lighter. So let's go ahead and debunk that right now. They feel to me to be the exact same weight as the previous model. Obviously, they are going to have a better camera. That was one of the major features of this phone. They also appear to have the same buttons and pretty much the same profile. It doesn't even appear to be very much thinner to me. We don't have that antenna strip across the top though. That's been changed, and I do like the new black color. It's much more sleek, reminds me a lot of the iPads. And of course we have the charge port, which is the everything port now, since there is no headphone jack in the phone. We also appear to have some slightly larger speakers in this model. Here's a look at the rose gold version, which has the same stuff on it, only in this soft shade of pink. Here is what I think everyone's interested in most. What comes with the phone? Well, we have the cube. The one that always gets lost almost as much as the lightning cable. And looks like we got some fresh new earbuds there in the box as well. And it looks like they included the adapter because everything goes through the everything port now. And speaking of everything port, we have the charge cable. Same as last time, no change there. The big change is this new adapter because like I said, everything's going through the charge port now. So for those of you wondering how you will still use your headphones, that's how you will use it. You plug this into the charge port and then your headphones into the other end. And of course that means that the headphones that come with the phone have the lightning port on the end as well. Ooh, now it's time for my favorite part, the peeling of the plastic. So here is the big question. We got the iPhone 7 on the right, iPhone 6S on the left. Are there any big changes? Well, besides the physical changes being the color and the improved camera, I found a couple of improvements in this newest design, starting with the screen. Here you can plainly see that the colors on the iPhone 7 are much better than the iPhone 6S. We also have a pretty good improvement in sound quality on both devices. Let me go ahead and play a ringtone on both phones for you. Next, we're gonna take a look at some video samples, starting with the iPhone 6S. All right, there we have it. Let me know what you guys thought about this unboxing in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share with your friends. And I will be back with you guys on Tuesday for an all new hair product review. 